It's been an eventful week for the beleaguered Greek government as more anger has erupted over belt tightening. On Wednesday, protesters clashed with police in the streets. On Thursday, Prime Minister George Papandreou's administration reeled but survived the resignation of two of his party's lawmakers. Now Papandreou has reshuffled his cabinet with the minister sworn in soon after the announcement of their appointment. The prime minister's hoping the maneuvering will get fresh austerity measures demanded by the EU and the IMF through parliament. Despite continued public resentment and repudiation, this sign called lawmakers traitors, the markets seem to think Papandreou may just manage it. Greek shares have jumped and the euro currency has recovered lost ground. Along with news, Berlin now appears ready to provide billions more in aid, with Germany and France having reached agreement on how to proceed. Greece may have escaped a devastating debt default once again. In Brussels, European Commission President Jose Manuel Barroso told reporters the EU will help as well. If Greece does its part, I think the European Union also has to do its part because it is in our joint, it is in our common interest. Still, Greece is far from being out of the woods yet and a big burden rests on the shoulders of former defense minister, now new finance minister, Evangelos Venizelos. I told the defense ministry that today I leave from defense to go to the real war. He declared that Greece must be saved. Venizelos will bring that message Sunday to Luxembourg when Eurozone finance ministers are holding an emergency meeting. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.